Greetings Earthlings and welcome to my first in the series of Myth Conceptions. No, I do not have a lisp. It's merely a play on words. Now, there are a lot of indeed stupid things that have been said throughout history and many stupid people that have believed them. <clears throat> Echoed throughout history is the phrase, if something is asserted often enough, people will eventually see it as truth. It's a sad indictment on the way humans think. Now, in this first video, I'll be dealing with uh, 10 misconceptions about animals and pets. And nothing upsets me more than willful ignorance, so please <clears throat> let me at least try to alleviate some of the more common misconceptions you might be harbouring, simply because you've heard them so many times, you believe them to be true. Now, number one, certain dog breeds like pit bulls or Staffordshire Bull Terriers have the ability to lock their jaws. This misconception should be scooped up with a poopy bag, tied at the top, and probably disposed of. There is absolutely no evidence that any breed of dog has a mechanism that allows the jaws or teeth to lock the overall biting power of each individual dog. <clears throat> and indeed breed, however, will of course vary enormously. Number two, dogs age seven years for every one of ours. A very popular misconception, it's, it isn't really that easy or viable to calculate a dog's age relative to ours. Dogs' life spans vary greatly from breed to breed and can depend on factors such as the size of the dog. A bulldog's average lifespan, for instance, is six years, whereas a border terrier's average lifespan is 14. <clears throat> there have been many, many techniques and methods for calculating dog's age relative to humans, but none are considered absolute or universal. Just as an example, the oldest dog ever documented was 29. This would make him 203 years old, whereas the oldest human that has ever been documented was 127. Um, number three, dogs only see in black and white. Another steaming pile of misconception. Dogs see in colour, but it's harder for them to distinguish colours than us because their eyes are more sensitive to the blue side of the spectrum. Keeping with the colour of, sorry, keeping with the topic of colour vision, this bring me, brings me neatly to the bunk. Number four. The colour red enrages bulls. Not so. This is in fact a load of old bull, because bulls, like most cattle, can't actually distinguish the colour red. It will charge regardless of whether the flag being waved in front of it is red or blue, or indeed any colour. Number five, ostriches bury their head at the sign of danger. Now popularised in comics and cartoons, the image of the ostrich with its head in the sand is a familiar one, but has no basis in fact. They certainly eat sand and pebbles to help their digestive system and male ostriches will dig holes in the sand to hide their eggs from predators. But they certainly aren't stupid enough to bury their heads when they feel threatened. Not when they can run at 40 miles an hour. Number six, bats are blind. Well, even the phrase as blind as a bat is still used today and indeed perpetuates the myth. But the fact is, not one in over the thousand of species of bats that exist are blind. Most bats' eyesight is very good as they hunt tiny insects. Some of the larger bats, <coughs> bat species, in fact, have far superior vision to our own. But they do indeed navigate by the use of sonar. Uh, a little nugget of useless trivia here. Vampire bats have an anti-clotting enzyme in their saliva and it's currently undergoing clinical trials for treatment of patients who have suffered from stroke. This is called, wait for it, Dracolin. I want to suck your blood. Blair. Seven. Lemmings commit mass suicide. Long has it been believed that lemmings collectively commit suicide when their population becomes too large. Although the lemming population dips dramatically over the course of a three to four year cycle, this is not due to them committing suicide, but rather than risking life and limb as they might migrate across dangerous terrain, jumping from cliffs into water and swimming to near exhaustion or death. Number eight. Goldfish have a short memory. Goldfish don't really have short memories, or indeed the three-second memory that po popular myth would have you believe. They're capable of quite complex behavioural patterns, and research has suggested that their learnt memories are more likely to be around five to eight months, which is quite large in terms of a goldfish's lifespan. They can apparently recognise their owners, and one scientist's research culminated in getting a carp to distinguish between classical music and the blues. You know, goldfish blues. You know what I'm saying, Shamo? Nine. Handling a baby bird or fledgling will cause its mother cause its mother to reject it. 
Now, I remember being absolutely mortified as a child, finding a fledging, lifting it onto a wall, a higher place, because I thought the cats might get it. And um, then being told that his mother would never come back to it, uh, broke my heart, oh, the pain of it all. Um, it's absolute poppycock. Birds, birds have a relatively limited sense of smell, and they certainly do not react to human scent by rejecting their young. Number 10, our last misconception. In London, you are never more than six feet from a rat. This is a strange statement as rats tend to be concentrated in certain areas rather than spread evenly to ensure a six foot distance from them whenever they, you happen to be in London. But even bearing this in mind, the average distance from a rat while you're in London is more likely to be around 160 foot. So that's good news for you murophobics. Ah, and there we have it. 10 misconceptions, hopefully put to rest. Please comment if you are at odds with any of my assertions. I'm not averse to learning, and my knowledge is certainly not absolute. Please look out for my next top 10, where I hope to put to rest some historic misconceptions. Thank you.